I'm going to simulate 10 seasons of MLB The Show franchise mode, and I'm going to build a Diamond Dynasty team with the players that win MVP and Cy Young during those simulations. I did this video last year in MLB 22. You guys absolutely loved it. So we're bringing it back for MLB 23. Now this is future MVP, so I'm technically not gonna count 2023, but I will show you guys anyway. Aaron Judge wins his second straight MVP and Will Smith takes it home for the Dodgers. Now, small note right here, I've noticed that catchers don't usually win MVP in these simulations. So if I go 10 seasons and a catcher doesn't win it again for either league, I'm just gonna use Will Smith at catcher. But now let's take a look at some future MVPs. So the 2024 season ends with the Dodgers getting their revenge against the Houston Astros in the World Series and Vlad Jr. wins the American League MVP and Juan Soto takes home the honors in the NL. AL Cy Young belongs to Shane McClanahan and NL Cy Young belongs to Walker Bueller. I'll also use relievers of the year as well. So we've got John Schreiber and Evan Phillips. So we have our first few players, Vlad at first, Soto in left. Of course, we have Shane McClanahan, Walker Bueller. And we have our two relievers. On to 2025. The 2025 season ends with the Dodgers going back to back, this time beating the Twins. And it looks like Louis Bob gets AL MVP with Austin Riley taking it home in the NL. National League Cy Young is Shane Bieber of the Phillies. And the AL is Michael Kopech. And relievers of the year, we got Class A and Alvarado. So I've got my new third baseman. I've got my new center fielder. And unfortunately for that round of pitchers, I really only have like one good good version. We can always replace players with future simulations too. So let's get to 2026. And in 2026, the Guardians are champions by beating the Mets. AL MVP goes to Jordan Alvarez with NL MVP Shohei Otani of the Padres. Oh, uh, too soon, man. Too soon. Cy Young is Corbin Burns of the Cubs and Christian Javier of the Astros. Andres Munoz and Edwin Diaz take home relievers of the year. So the team is coming together nicely. I wanna start getting some help in the middle of the field though. Let's see what 2027 brings up. The 2027 World Series has the Astros coming out on top over the Marlins. And well, this doesn't really help very much cause Jordan Alvarez and Shohei Otani one back-to-back -back MVPs in both leagues. As far as Cy Young, I have Nick Lodolo in the NL and Carlos Rodon in the AL. Alvarado once again wins reliever of the year with Cody Hoyer. What a weird 2027. Well, I wasn't able to make very many changes. I am able to put Carlos Rodon in the rotation and I'm putting Cody Hoyer in the bullpen. Yeah, 2027 was kind of a wash. Well, 2028 belongs to the Minnesota Twins. And come on, Jordan wins three in a row. Are you kidding me? At least we have somebody else winning it in the NL. Pete Alonso still with the Mets. Cy Young's, we have Brady Singer in the NL and Dylan Cease in the AL and Garrett Crochet, reliever of the year. So after 2028, I have Pete Alonzo on the bench for now. And then I was able to get Dylan Cease in the rotation as well as Garrett Crochet in the bullpen. We're officially halfway through these Sims. Let's get to 2029. So in 2029, the Astros take out the Dodgers again. Dude, I swear, if I see Jordan Alvarez win another MVP in this simulation, Hey, somebody else, we got Jazz. And for the AL, well, it's Vlad Jr. again. All right. And for Cy Young, we have Spencer Strider of the Tigers and Sandy Alcantara still with the Marlins. So I finally have somebody for the middle infield, Jazz at second, and I'll plug Sandy into the rotation. Spencer Strider really isn't better than any of the guys I have here in this game. Let's get to the next decade, 2030. And the new decade starts with the Dodgers winning the World Series over the Astros again. Man, they're having some battles. National League MVP once again goes to Shohei Otani. American League goes to Corey Seager. There's my shortstop. And Cy Young belongs to Jordan Wicks and Edward Cabrera. Corey Seager is in at shortstop. And I'm going to put Edward Cabrera in over Carlos Rodon. Only three seasons remain. Let's go to 2031. This is the part of the simulations where it could get sketchy because there might be some random names that show up, like some random you know, auto-generated players that have made their way into the game. So hopefully we can actually get some players that have cards in Diamond Dynasty. Your 2031 world champions are the Marlins defeating the Red Sox. And your 2031 MVPs are Jazz Chisholm again, as well as Rafael Devers. Cy Young, we have Grayson Rodriguez and Andrew Painter. Hey, and Duran won reliever of the year. That'll be useful. I know Devers has a better card than his live series, but he's gonna be a bench bat. I'm not spending 400K for a guy on the bench. 
And then I've got Duran in the bullpen. I have two seasons left and I still need a catcher. Please give me like an Adley in 2032. Oh my God, in 2032, the Angels win the World Series. Is that how long I'm gonna have to wait? For MVP, we have Nolan Gorman of the Cardinals and Gavin Yang of the White Sox. Yeah, I don't think Gavin Yang has a card in Diamond Dynasty. Cy Young is Trevor Rogers and Cade Cavalli. Reliever of the year, Ryan Weathers and Tyrone Hunt. Okay, I don't really know how much is actually gonna change on my team this go around. Yep, all that changes is Nolan Gorman gets added to the bench. All right, one season left. Let's see if I can get a catcher. And our final simulation have the Angels going back to back. And for our MVPs, we have Jackie Hawk and Rafael Devers again. And there's nothing really for us to use on the Cy Young side of things. So it looks like I will have to end up using Will Smith as my catcher. All right, so the squad is finally set. Future MVPs at every single position. These are my future Cy Young winners. A lot of Marlins in here. And this is the bullpen. Not, definitely not the best bullpen I've ever had. That's for sure. But now let's see if the future MVPs can win a ranked seasons game. So the MVPs are taking on Roy Halladay. And I'm actually recording this the day after I did all the simulations. And right before I started recording this morning, Jazz got supercharged. So that's a great last minute upgrade to the team. And oh my God, I'm the home team. If you guys have been watching my videos, you know that I have not been the home team in a minute in ranked. The curse has been broken. There you go, Corbin. I went with Corbin as the starter because I feel like he probably has the best pitch mix out of any of the guys that I have in the rotation, but I won't be afraid to use other starters or the bullpen quickly if I need to. Oh yeah, he was late on the cutter. Oh, that was right over the middle. Come on, Louis Bob! At a boy. Tough break for my opponent. Shohei, Vlad, and Jordan to get things started. Come on. Oh no. Oh. Hey, however you can get it, Otani. <laughs> oh, this guy is not having it. I don't want to talk about it. Dude, Jordan better pop off in this video. This guy won so many MVPs during the simulations. Why do I keep striking out on splitters in the strike zone? Ball four, big two out walk. Corey Seager, come on, buddy. Bro, for some reason, that splitter makes no sense to me. He really just struck out the side with three splitters in the strike zone. Ah, uh, come on now. Leadoff walks are never good. Oh, Jordan is not making that play. Okay. Can you get it in though? Can you stop him from scoring? All right. Second and third. Nobody out. Got to bear down here, Corbin. Come on, dude. That is a perfect throw. Oh my God. Oh, he went early. I think Louis Bob still might have thrown him out even if he didn't leave early there. Ah, uh, that sucks. And this one isn't a perfect throw. Okay, at least he's not taking second. All right, down one. Okay, not enough to score him. All right, there we go. Out of the inning. Here we go. Got the leadoff guy here in the third. Come on. Go, oh, got him with a cutter inside. I like it. Yo, that's a great bounce back inning from Corbin Burns. Come on, offense. We need to do something. I don't even have a hit yet. I cannot explain to you why that sinker or that splitter doesn't make sense to me. All right. Otani's been on both times and need to get some runs. Come on. I, that, I mean, I'm not going to get a pitch that I want to hit more than that. That's embarrassing. <laughs> Luckily, it's only a one-run game, so we're fine at the moment. But, dude, I got to get something going quick. I don't have a single hit in three innings. I have some base runners, though. I've made them throw some pitches, so it's not like I'm doing nothing. But I have not had one good swing against the card yet. Here you go. There you go, Corbin. 3-2 on Adley. Hmm. I'm feeling I'm feeling sinker away. Yeah, I, bad pitch. Double play. Get it started, Corbin. Come on. Took a little bit of time to develop. Not going to get to. That's fine, though. 3-2. He's early. I don't want to throw him a sinker or a cutter. I'm going to go with a circle change. Maybe low and in. 
Dude, come on. I gotta stop with these bad 3-2 pitches. Out of first, out of first, out of first. Okay. Bro, Corbin Burns is getting the job done. Four innings, one run. This offense needs to wake up. These are the future MVPs. Come on. 2-2 two, two count. Just react. Come on. Oh, boy. Get through there, baby. Corey Seager delivers our first hit. Home run derby, Luis Robert Jr. Come on. Oh, my God, no. He can't get away with that pitch. I mean, that's an unbelievable 2-2 pitch. This guy just knows what to throw with this holiday card. Okay, Jazz, there we go. I've had base runners during this game. I just need to get somebody across. Base hit, okay. Finally starting to put some better swings up. Come on, Vladdy. Vladdy, three straight hits, 99 speed. I'm sending him. I need this run. I need to be aggressive. Let's go, tie game. You're on right here. I just missed a cutter right over the middle of the plate. I don't deserve happiness. Austin Riley, perfect three run home run. Finally, I got a mistake and took advantage of it. Oh, it feels good to have a three run lead against Roy Halladay. Hey, it did take me a while to get the bats going, but I stayed with it. I stayed patient against Roy Halladay. Got his pitch count up to like the 80s in that inning. So even though I had been struggling, I had an approach and I stuck with it. And now we have a lead for Corbin Burns. Hopefully we can hold it. Come on. Three, two on Acuna. He's fought off a couple here. I'm going to go slider away again we got the ground ball lovely oh that was a bad pitch but center field don't hit it there yo i thought roy halliday was pitching well on the other side and he was but corbin burns has pitched six innings and he's only allowed two hits there's a couple walks in there sure whatever but dude corbin's throwing a gem right now top seven now keep going corbin Okay, all right, that's the first hit he's allowed in a while. Lead off double, that's okay, we can work out of this. I have the pen warmed up, ready to go, but I, I believe Corbin can get through this. At least he can get through another hitter or two. I'm gonna go cut her like way up to J-Ram. Yeah, mess with the eye level. Ooh, you know, I actually would not be surprised if he tried to bunt with Jackie right here. He laid one down earlier, or tried to lay one down earlier. Doesn't matter, we got him. Seven innings of one run ball from Corbin Burns. This is glorious. Oh my God, dude. Shohei hit that so hard, but right into the ground. Whoa, what the? That didn't look like a slider at all until the very last second. Okay, Jordan. Would have liked to seen you do that when there were guys on base though. Ah, it doesn't matter. I'm popping up the next AB anyway. Okay, Corbin is in the yellow. He's at 86 pitches. He's thrown a gem, but I really want to win this. So I'm going to be careful. I'm going to go to the bullpen right here. I'm good with seven innings of one run ball. I honestly got more out of Corbin than I thought I was going to get. He was late. Oh, Soto, please make this play. Whew. Jazz. Oh, Jazz, the cover boy. I mean, that's, that's a nasty inning there from Duran. Oh, dude, for a second, that looked like it was absolutely launched. Come on, man. This three-run lead is not safe. Let's get more. Okay. Will Smith, the catcher. Two-run bomb for insurance. And now for the ninth inning, I'm going to go Alvarado since he does have a couple lefties due up. There's one. That's two. And that's three. Beautiful ninth inning for Alvarado. That's a victory for the future MVPs. Austin Riley takes home player of the game with that three-run home run. And Braves fans just stay winning. But yeah, definitely not the most explosive game with this team. But at the end of the day, a win is a win.